Hello my loves, it's Kasha Plumerista 101. Today I am going to be doing a flip through of the home body planner which is a dash dashboard planner. This is my social media. So I've been using this since January for my social media and I would love to share with you. So um, if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so so much. I truly appreciate you guys. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. That would do me such a huge favor. If you could do that, I would truly, truly appreciate it. So I put my name on this planner and that's the um, cover and I think it's beautiful. So this is the monthly overlay in it. And then I was using this for my video schedule, more or less. And then I also was using the social media pages and I think that worked out great. I had some video ideas in there. So there we go. And then during the month, I wasn't decorating that month at all. I was just putting down videos and kind of the schedules of when I schedule things. And this was my first dashboard spread ever and i used the floral sticker book with rung rung and with the walmart pan and gear so it's a combination of three sticker books and i've never ever did anything with dashboard so that was my first and i truly like how that came out so i was pretty impressed um with this layout and i thought that for social media that would be great and as you can see um in january i had 394 subscribers so i grew quite a bit in six months so i jumped um over 100 subscribers in just one um not 100 maybe like 40 subscribers over a week so i thought that was pretty great So I was putting, as you can see, my layout kind of still stays the same. It's the decorations that change. So I have to do ideas and subscribers. And it stays like that from week to week. Then I just fill in my data and decorate it. So that was Homebody. This was Cacti. It came on like a loose sheet of paper. I had like six little sheets with cacti and I picked the black one tonight that was awesome this is the free no nope, dream seeker I believe dream seeker combined with the free spirit and I think that came out pretty well and then that's the end of January and then we go into February again I was filling in like my video schedule and I think that was pretty good. And then again, floral sticker book. So I actually went through two full sticker books of florals by now. That's how much I use it. So I put YouTube, Instagram followers. I was growing and I'm growing quite steadily. And I really, really love it. So this spread is not finished. But that's okay. That's life, right? So is this. This one is like half used and that was valentine's day and i really disliked this spread but what can you do and then i did this floral spread which i loved like i absolutely love this how i framed only the edges of the planner and then i drew some little like florals in the center of it I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I mean, it's done, right? And then we have the floral sticker book as well as the farm, uh, the, actually the gardening sticker book. So these three are from gardening for sure. And then we're done with February, March schedule, and I'm starting to film more and more videos for you guys. This is a journaling sticker book combined with 
the vintage botanicals i only used black and white and one gold and i wasn't still covering up the little squares for to-do lists or the dinner plans on top so i think slowly i'm starting to get a grip on this so this was a scrapbook sticker book with like blue so that was the blue is from the rainbow and i think that was okay it wasn't great but it was okay i think if i used different colors i think they this would have been much better this um sticker book is smart crafts or craft smarts it's from michael's it this was the boho one and i really really loved how vibrant the colors are and i love the two mandala stickers um and all of the butterflies so i kind of cut up one big piece of washi from them and spread it all around and i think that was a good one it was definitely a good one like i said the mandalas are my favorite especially the blue one and that one is beautiful as well okay and then we have march 23rd week and this is the first week that I covered up those little checklists and I used the colorful or happy illustrations to make the spread with the houses for staying at home for COVID-19. So, And then again, I don't do anything with currently April. This is what the month looks like. And then we have the glitter paint and I love this spread. This is actually one of my favorite spread, uh, spreads of this book. I love the circles and the shape and all of it. And then we have the wild styled. And this is okay. I wasn't crazy about it. It's very neutral, which I really, really like. But I wasn't like super crazy about it. And then we have farmhouse. And I love this spread. I love this book. So that's my favorite book. Then we have Homebody. So I finally used the Homebody in my Homebody planner as, I, as you can see all of the boxes. This one was, I believe, Carpe Diem. Not sure, possibly. But I did like this little thing with, um, like you can see, I started covering up all of those task list and this one was the first one where i actually did a to-do strip then we have may again that's what my schedule looked like we have wrong wrong and i think i'm starting to get better and better at these spreads like as i'm looking my style is starting to develop this is stronger together this was for squad week This is Vintage Botanicals and it's just beautiful. Like the dark background with the florals is awesome. This is my um, second favorite spread and this is Soft Geode, I believe. And I really love the colors, like the deep blues and everything. And now we're in June, as I'm filming this, this is Pastel Tropics. This was filmed for one of my subscribers. She wanted me to use that book and see what I would do with it. Well, this is what I did with it and I love it. It's very colorful. This is my third favorite spread of this um, planner. And obviously this is Mostero leaves and just black boxes and it's very clean and beautiful. This one is Carpendium and it's very busy and this one is the um, bookish. So the Carpendium is pretty but it's so busy. Like I think that spread was a little too busy for me. And then this coming up week I'm going to be filling out all of 
these little journaling cards and I mixed Boss Babe with Bookish. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this spread. Please let me know down below if you have a favorite spread out of this planner or if there was a plan with me that you really enjoyed. And I can't wait to talk to you guys very, very soon. Hope you have a great week. Bye.